Well, it's no use to say how important passive sensing is in today's electronic environment. An aircraft using a radar or emitting any form of electromagnetic radiation can, in principle, be identified by detecting those emissions. If the aircraft is just listening to the opponent's emissions, it has way less chances of being detected. Since the beginning, one of the main goals of the F-35 was the capability to generate fire solutions for the onboard weapons completely passively. With optical or infrared sensors, it is, well, conceptually easy. They are accurate enough thanks to the very short wavelengths of light and infrared, so they can produce a pinpoint designation. Determining the distance is more complicated. It requires a triangulation, and the F-35 closed-loop sensor fusion system is built from the ground up to do this automatically for every track if at least a second F-35 is within data link communication range, and it is obviously observing the same target. Mind, this is conceptually not too complex, but in practice, to make it work automatically in real operating conditions, while the aircraft fly around in a random way, it is quite an achievement, albeit not exclusive to the F-35. Quite surprisingly, though, the F-35 is not fully supporting this type of fusion right now. The TR3 includes an improvement to the EOTS optics and sensors. This will allow for the improvement in the air-to-ground detection modes, allowing the tracking of multiple targets and, finally, finally, multi-ship infrared search and track. The infrared search and track function is not like a camera or a forward-looking infrared. While an Earth can generate images, its function is to scan the space surrounding the aircraft to identify infrared tracks. An Earth works like a radar without the possibility of calculating the distance. This is the reason why data fusion from two or more infrared search and track is essential. With the Block 4 software, a multi-ship Earth function will be finally available. This is something that is already available in the US in the Legion pod for the F-16s and the F-15s, so it is a bit perplexing that it isn't on the F-35 right now. The EOTS system is also receiving updates to the optics and the laser designator. It should increase the practical range by additional zoom magnification. The system is expected to provide high-definition video to the pilot and streaming 4K to other consumers, like, for example, friendly forces on the ground. Uh, which is cool, definitely, but nothing special since drones have been doing this for decades. Maybe at a lower resolution, but yeah. And it begs the question, if you want to have a relatively vulnerable aircraft like the F-35 hovering over a battle zone, while lightweight surface-to-air weapons like MAMPADs or AAA may still be there, since they are too small targets for the initial suppression of our defenses campaign. Anyway, if I understand the sources correctly, this 4K streaming is an interim capability that should improve in the future and be joined with real-time streaming of targeting data. However, optical and infrared sensors usually have shorter ranges than electromagnetic systems and they are more heavily influenced by the weather and the atmospheric conditions.